The historic rally had passed through about an hour before, but unknown to the World Championship drivers, one of the historic cars, a Hillman Imp, had dumped oil on a tricky left-hander. There was no warning for Mackinnon running the stage first, in spite of officials and spectators being aware of the slippery surface. As he turned in, he saw the black surface meaning oil, but already it was too late. Just maybe three kilometers from the start, we came to the to the we came to join the circuit, and on the tarmac we were already on the tarmac, but we just joined the, the circuit. And first first corner on the on the circuit was some oil. I think some oil because it looks completely black tarmac, and just suddenly immediately when I noticed that immediately car just never there and we hit the concrete and concrete and uh, we lost three wheels well that rear wheel stayed attached for a little bit longer Tommy Mackinnon was in dire trouble though that was special stage number five special stage number six was over the same piece of tarmac and there was no service halt between so there was no chance of trying to get the car repaired he tried to continue as you can see here but then more contact with the curb and that just ripped the right rear wheel off altogether so he tried to get to the end of this six special stage several cars catching him up of course and indeed going past him and then he got on the road eventually a police motorcyclist stopped him from going any further and that was the end of it all for Mackinnon. Slow down completely and we, we did it second time slowly but then we couldn't continue anymore because uh, we, we weren't allowed to drive on the public roads with three wheels and we had to stop. It's going to be a difficult next two days because Carlos still has to finish fourth. Yeah, it's it's not in my hand anymore. It's just what we can do. We can just follow.